Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you G Science Chapter 10 Light and Shadows. In this chapter, I will discuss about light, luminous and non-luminous object, formation of shadow, transparent, translucent and opaque object. So, first of all, I will discuss about what is light. So, light is a form of energy that enables us to see the object around us. It means, in other words, light is energy that allows us to see things. This also termed as radiant energy. This energy is also termed as radiant energy. Now, now student, these are the sources of light. Sun, stars, light bulb, fire, lamp, lighter, candlelight. So, light is a form of energy which help us to see different objects. Student, in the presence of light, this flower pot is visible. But when we switch off the light, it is not visible. So, only in the presence of light, we can see this flower pot. Now, students, what is reflection of light? The bouncing of light by objects is known as reflection of light. Here, you can see this diagram. The ray is coming to the mirror and this is bouncing back. So, the ray which is coming to the mirror is incidentary and the ray which is bouncing back is known as reflected ray. Now, come to the point sources of light. What is a source of light? Any source or object which emits its own light is a source of light, which means object which provide us light. Now, there are two sources of light. One is natural sources of light and another is artificial sources of light. Now, natural sources of light. What is natural sources of light? Those light which have their, those source which have their own light is natural source of light. For example, sun and Now come to the point artificial or human made source of light. So what is artificial source of light? The light which is human made is known as artificial source of light. It is also known as man made source of light. You can see this example. Candle. This is artificial source of light. And bulb. This is also artificial source of light. And some more few examples of artificial source of light. Now next topic is bioluminescence. What is bioluminescence? Bio means something living. Lumin means which gives light. Essence means emit. Emit means what? Which gives us light. So bioluminescence is the phenomenon in which the production and emission of light takes place by living organism. Here this is the fireflies which emit their own light. So this organism is providing us light. So this is the this phenomenon is known as bioluminescence. Now luminous and non-luminous object. Luminous objects are those that give off light on its own. Example light bulb and sun. Sun have their own light so it is luminous body. What is non-luminous object? 
नॉन ल्यूमिनस ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर दोज ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट डू नॉट गिव ऑफ लाइट ऑन इट्स ओन एग्जाम्पल टेबल बोर्ड एंड मून मून डू नॉट हैव देयर ओन लाइट सो इट इज नॉन ल्यूमिनस ऑब्जेक्ट मून रिफ्लेक्ट द लाइट ऑफ सन नाउ ऑप्टिकल मीडिया ऑप्टिकल मीडियम इज अ सबस्टांस थ्रू विच लाइट कैन पास कंप्लीटली और पार्सियली देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ऑप्टिकल मटीरियल ट्रांसपेरेंट मटीरियल ट्रांसलूसेंट मटीरियल एंड नाउ वॉट इज ट्रांसपेरेंट मटीरियल ट्रांसपेरेंट मटीरियल आर दोज विच अलाउज लाइट टू पास थ्रू इट इज कॉल्ड ट्रांसपेरेंट मटीरियल For example, air, water, glass, vacuum, etc., are the examples of transparent material. You can see in this picture, light is completely passed through this glass. So this is transparent material. Now, what is translucent material? Any medium which allows light to pass through it. only partially is called translucent material example of translucent material is tracing paper sun glasses muddy water etc you can see in this picture translucent object this is the tracing paper light will not pass completely through it opaque material a medium which does not allow any light to pass through it is called an opaque material for example wood sand and brick are some opaque materials you can see in this picture this apple is also an opaque object when light pass through this apple light will not pass through this apple so this is opaque few more examples of transparent translucent and opaque material this is the transparent material through this glass light can pass through it this is the translucent material through this plastic light can pass partially through it this book is an example of opaque material when we pass light through it light does not pass through it so this is opaque material next is rectilinear propagation of light what is rectilinear propagation of light light travels in straight line is known as rectilinear propagation of light now students you can see this activity take three cardboards of the same size make a small hole on at the center of all three cardboards arrange the cards one behind the other such that all the holes lie along a straight line place a lighted candle in front of the first card look through the hole in the last card you will be able to see the flame of the candle so this activity proves that light travels along a straight line thank you in the next video we will learn about formation of shadow parts of shadow and eclipse